hello guys in this video we'll be talking about parasitology x how to identify you won't make any mistake now and this is a sure shot question for any of the exam in the form of a image based question guys so guys let's make it super easy so that you remember it and we'll come on to this 3x which is used in this image at the end after we are done with other x guys okay then we'll see ah uh, do we remember actually the x that we have read now okay see guys if we talk we have started with the cestodes guys okay see this we have three family in parasitology cestodes nematodes and nematodes guys okay then we have echinana guys so first of all remember the things important for cestode guys okay this cystode you have presence of six hooklets guys okay and it shows guys hexacanth embryo guys okay so this has six hooklets which is known as hexacanth embryo that is three pair of hooklets you can see in the image guys one pair two pair three pair guys okay so basically this is about the cystode guys see so basically it has hooklet and uh, if you think about the h nana guys okay remember guys it's very simple like h nana if you see guys you have na na two times means you will have polar thickening at both hands guys okay so no confusion guys h nana now if you see h demonita guys okay there is no repetition guys okay this h demonita is also known as red tape worm guys okay so there is no polar filament at the ends guys okay and you can see there is a gelatin material filled inside it guys okay now coming on guys to the tinea solium or the tinea saginata guys okay so this tinea solium okay, or the tinea saginata guys again it has an hexacanth embryo like the other cystodes guys okay what is important guys here this tinea shows the presence of this solium and saginata both has s and this shows the presence of striation you can see this radial striation present do you see guys and it again has a hexagonth embryo guys okay see then you have one more which is known as a diphylobotrim latum you you might have remembered when i have discussed a revision video on cystode i said there are two species of the cystode family and there are two organism in that species okay what are the two organism that be in that be, uh, in which in which uh, there is pseudophilidia wala you have diphylobotrim latum guys and the spirometra so this they were different why because they had operculated x guys okay so this diphylobotrim latum spirometra had operculated x and entire trematodes also has guys operculated x except the cystosoma family you can see guys there is a operculated egg at the end look do you see guys okay then see this is an important mnemonic guys what are the non bile stained eggs guys okay if we talk about the non bile stained eggs guys this nectar and remember the mnemonic guys neha nectar americanus Antrobius vermicularis, H. nana, and Ankylostoma duodenal, guys. Okay, so this is the list for non bile stained eggs. Guys, remember this list basically helps this bile stained eggs means brown in color, guys. See, do you think this eggs are brown in color, guys? See, this is bile stained. This diphylobatum, this is brown in color. Now, if you see the eggs of H. nana, guys, do it, does it look brown? No, guys, it does not look brown. Hence, it's a non bile stained eggs, guys guys okay see now we'll see now we'll start with the trematode egg guys i, I talked about the operculated lids, lids uh, x guys operculated x means those have a lead guys okay remember uh the uh, lead is uh, lead is needed to prevent transmission like the condom that prevents the transmission of std so basically lead is also like it prevents std that is just to remember guys okay S for spirometra guys, T for trematodes except cystosoma guys, okay, and D is for diphylobotrim latum guys, okay, see now if we are talking about the trematode thing, if there, if there is a operculated egg, means it may be either due to diphylobotrim latum, spirometra or maybe due to trematodes guys, okay. Uh, but cystosoma is not possible like so now coming on to the fasciola guys do you see in fasciola guys it has an operculated egg again guys so it's very simple now coming on to this clonorchis and of your third case okay guys see how does this x look like if i talk about see again it will have an operculum or lead guys like the other like the other trematode x so it's there but see the two important thing that is the present of presence of the girl's shoulder what is shoulder guys that is there is a thickened rim around the operculum guys okay so this x looks something like this see this is the covering and there is a thickened guys okay and there is a small lobe at the other end, end guys now coming on to the paragonimus this paragonimus you must remember that it is causes pulmonary hence known as the lung fluke guys okay so see again it will have operculum again guys it is again guys it is bile stain hence it, it appears brown to yellow golden yellow in color guys and what is important guys you can see here the thickness is only this much guys but here the thickness is so uh, the rim is uneven in thickness guys that is important for paragonimus guys okay 
See now coming on to the cystosoma. I said cystosomia, though they are trematodes, they do not have operculated hair. Remember, cystosomia is means the uh, spines, guys. Okay, remember like this. See, if you talk about the three species of cystosomia, that is hematobium, mansoni, and japonicum, guys. Hematobium has the presence of T, hence it means it has terminal spine. Now, now coming on to the mansoni, that is mansona sona lage. That is guys lateral spine guys okay now coming on to the japonicum japonicum when there was a bomb drop that time it got rudimentary for some time but again they evolved guys so it has rudimentary spine guys okay now next is the important mnemonic guys x which floats on saturated salt solution guys okay so remember feather is very light so it floats the depicted by the photo guys so a feather f for fertilized egg of s carries e for introbius vermicularis which is also referred to as guys pinworm a for ankylostoma guys D for trichuris trichuda H for H nana guys okay see now coming on guys to the nematodes guys so nematodes also there are some of the important species first of all is the ascaris lumbricoid it's also known as the downworm here it shows the presence of both fertilized egg and unfertilized egg guys so we need to identify remember the fertilized eggs guys after it has made guys it is a smaller guys okay this fertilized egg after it has made it has a thick albumin coat guys so this fertilized egg is of two type either it is corticated egg or decorticated see if albumin coat is present guys this is corticated here you can see there is no irregular albumin coat hence it is decorticated egg guys okay so this is basically decorticated see if we talk about the unfertilized egg how does it looks like guys there is almost absent albumin coat guys and this is narrower and longer guys and this uh, fertilized egg also shows the presence of crescentric shaped space at either pole guys okay see now coming on to the hookworm okay so this hookworm guys this is a oval shape guys. remember when do you use the hook guys in order to sort out the things in order to put the things in a proper place guys okay so this has a segmented ovum guys segmentation to keep the things properly with four blastomeres guys okay and you have a clear space because hook will help you clear the space okay now coming on to the trichuris trichura you can see two times name trichum means again guys at both of them there will be polar thickening like the h nana guys okay so here you, instead of polar thickening you have the mucus plug guys and uh, then coming on to again it is a brown mens hence it is a bile strand egg it does not come into the neha mnemonic guys and it is unsegmented unlike the hookworm which were segmented guys now coming on to the entrobius vermiculis remember does it come in on neha mnemonic guys neha Entrobius means it is a non bile strand egg. Does it come in your feather mnemonic that feather floats, guys? Yes, it comes. Hence, this X float in saturated salt solution, guys. Remember, this Entrobius vermicularis, guys, is a plano convex X. How do you remember? X has come and has entered in your life, and you never know when they will go. So, guys, this is X has entered. Okay, X has entered your life. Okay, this lava uh, and it has a lava inside it that is tadpole like lava, guys, and it looks more of a transparent thing, guys. Okay, so mm, this was all about the X of X of uh, cystode, trematode, and nematode. Like, guys, let's revise the three Im images that I used in the initial pic, guys. See, there is a mucus plug at both the end means there is something repetition wala name we have two name repetition wala h nana and trichuris trichuria and this is a barrel shaped guys means this is a trichuris trichura okay guys see now think of the spine guys what is this spine guys this is lateral spine that is man sona sona lage that is Mansoni. Now coming on to the this one, guys. Okay, so this has a presence of crescentric shape space. Means it is a fertilized egg, guys. But you do not see, guys, the presence of thick albumin layer. Hence, it is a decorticated egg of Ascaris, guys. Okay, decorticated egg of Ascaris. Okay, so basically this is fertilized, but albumin is not there, guys. Hence, decorticated, guys. Okay. Hope this simplifies the topic of identification of parasitology exercise. If you find it useful, please do comment, like, share which uh, topic you need the rest. Happy learning guys.